Today we are making one of my all time favorite treats, pecan butter. Is it really a treat? It's a healthy treat. That's the best part about it. So with pecan butter, you could just have a spoonful of it. You can drizzle it on some of your favorite cookies, cheesecakes. I just put it on everything because I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. And it's easy, that is the best part. So stay tuned, let's get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Next, we're gonna get our pecans, and I typically like to use the pecans from Costco because they are cheap, and you can do pretty much any amount that you want. The more pecan butter, the better. So I am going to do approximately three and a half cups here. So I use three and a half cups here. My pecans are laid flat here and they're gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes. The smell that these pecans put off when baking in the oven is phenomenal. They honestly, they smell like cookies a little bit. Oh, can't wait to try this. Alrighty, it's been 10 minutes. Time to get these bad boys out of here. They are smelling fine as a dime. All right, so I am using a Ninja blender. I'm using the one, the more bowl styled one with the metal blender. You're gonna wanna get something like this so you can scoop them up because they are gonna be pretty darn hot. So in this particular blender, I click puree. So that was the first set of one minute and 15 seconds. And then you might open it up and you might peek and you be, might be like, Oh my God, my blender is smoking. But don't forget, you baked the pecans and they're hot. Gonna go ahead for another minute 15, and another minute 15, and another minute 15. Well, you're getting close, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a knife here and scrape down the, or the sides. What I love about pecan butter is the texture. It's different than almond butter texture. It's different than peanut butter texture. Can't really describe it, it's just better. And just like that, we have butter. So it only took eight minutes in here and that's because pecans are actually softer than almonds. The almonds take a lot longer. I get myself a handy dandy mason jar and this stuff is so good when it's warm. You gotta try it warm. It's um, a lot more oily or, you know, not as thick as most almond butters or peanut butters, but even when you put it in the fridge, it really doesn't get much harder, which I like about it because I just, the texture's bomb.com. So as you can see here, it was about three and a half cups and it filled this almost all the way 16 ounce jar. And once I'm done scraping the bowl, it will definitely fill this up all the way. You know, there's always something just a little special about licking the bowl. Like my mom would always make a cake when I was younger and I would, you know, it, the bowl was mine to lick. It, like homemade cake, not that box stuff. When you get to eat out of the bowl, it just makes it taste even that much better. It's time to taste test. Mmm. So, so yummy. I love the texture. It's delicious warm, it's delicious cold, it's like a little treat. And I personally recommend do not add anything to the butter itself. If you want, go ahead and get bowls of a couple couple tablespoons and maybe you can add cinnamon on the side or maybe some monk fruit if you wanna sweeten it up a little bit. But I would recommend don't touch the actual, actual product because it'll stay better longer if there's nothing added to it. And then if you wanna try with cinnamon and other delicious items, go for it. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this. Go out there and create a life you love.